guys look at our beautiful new decoration yay <laughs> on our channel isn't that beautiful um the picture i made myself this is my own design and yeah maybe i'm going to get printed cards with this design you know for our channel so yeah i thought i'm, sh I'm gonna show you this beautiful picture there's my watermark on there you know that's my twitter handle if you want to go there and check it out it's on rest right now because this is an art channel um that i did aesthetics from let's see it was before i started um doing my tarot channel here and i started this on november 2022 20, in 2019 our purple lights channel here auto rose Maralo, bts so the year before that so from 2018 to 2019 i was very active on this twitter handle um it was one of my four twitter handles that i'm still having but i'm not that active on twitter anymore and in this channel you can check it out i did aesthetics um with pictures from the boys from um you know from those um fanzines what am i saying fanzines <laughs> i don't even remember how they were called i did aesthetics with fanzine pictures and i you know i created like a whole thing you have to look at this you have to check it out if you're an army it's the pictures with the boys with a quote and then with a piece of art that i either did on myself the picture like i made it or I found on the internet and I edited it, you know. So you can check that out. It's very beautiful. And I did this for one year. I was retreated by almost all the big fan sites like Winter Very. Um, what was the name? Yeah, you guys know the big fan sites. Tiang's big fan sites. Oh gosh, I don't even remember their names because I haven't done this since 2019 since i started this channel i have not done aesthetics again you know because now i'm focusing everything on my channel even my big account forever purple v um which had around 11,000 followers when i yeah, like put it on rest two years ago um you know it's like on twitter i twitter is not as it used to be you know twitter was more a safe place like two years ago it was more fun it was not the toxic i think nowadays it's more toxic and yeah twitter is like if you're on twitter you are on twitter you know if you leave twitter you're not on twitter anymore it's like you know i don't know I'm still on Twitter because the t boys tweet sometimes, but I'm not that active anymore. I write a tweet once a while and aesthetics I'm not doing as of right now. I mean, I could do it again if, yeah, if I'm interested in it, you know, and if I'm bored here on my Taros Morado channel and my other two YouTube channels, <laughs> but I'm guessing, you know, as time progresses, Big T is like showing me what content I have to produce. And so I did this for one year and I'm pretty sure Tiang checked that out because I had really big tweets with around 300 retweets of his pictures and the art beside it. So I'm pretty sure he has seen this. Um, yeah, so check my channel out, PTS 7 Art. You might like it. It's very beautiful. I really love it. And um, yeah, you can scroll down, you know, it. Um, all the big BTS fansite accounts retweeted my art so i had a lot of big tweets back in 2019 i think yeah 2019 was my biggest year i had like retweets with 300 400 retweets and 2000 3000 likes so <laughs> you know that's why you know, and I left this channel the same as I left Forever Purple V right now because I'm not a person, you know, I had big channels there and on Twitter. Um, I'm not someone who looks for validation or for, how do you say, attention. I'm not an attention seeker because many of you mistake me for this. Many of you think just because I am telling you that I'm Kim Tang's twin flame that I'm an attention seeker. No, you know, because I had big accounts on Twitter. 
I could have just, um, you know, if I would have had attention, I left when I was at, you know, like 11,000 followers, I could have just played the game on, you know, and, and could have just like be on Twitter and gain more followers and more followers and, you know, but I didn't. I was called to do this channel and to start all over again. Yeah. And um, I'm not here to seek attention. I'm here to help army healing. And I will block everyone who thinks that I'm seeking for attention or um, that I'm just here to announce that I'm his twin flame. No. You know, guys, I would have gone totally different um, procedures. I would not have left my big Twitter profiles, big Twitter accounts that I had. I mean, 11,000 followers, it, it's not that big, but still for for Twitter, you know, when like in Germany, no one uses Twitter um, and 11,000 followers on Twitter for, for German for Germany, it's big, you know. I had almost as many followers as the BTS German account from, you know, the BTS account that was like official for for German, for Germany. So, <laughs> you know, I'm here to help you guys heal and I'm here to do my art. I'm here to do whatever I'm called to. And yes, I am his twin flame, but I'm not screaming it out into the world because I would go like totally or do totally different strategies. You know, I'm here to help you guys. So enough being said, whoever listened to this, thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, very welcome to our new reading. Look at those beautiful blue and purple feathers right there and right there. Um, and the purple lights tree, you know, very beautiful. And please check out the MTV Unblocked from our boys BTS, it was very, very beautiful. I mean, having seen blue and gray for the first time, it really brought me to tears. It's really beautiful. I mean, this, the scenery and the stage, how they edited it, how they, how they um, worked the stage, where they sang was amazing. I'm like blown away. I don't know what to say anymore, but um, yeah, it was very, very beautiful. And also the, the other songs of our boys, you know, very beautiful. And I must say, I'm really happy that Taeyangi, um gave the others, you know, like he wrote it for the others so that all seven sing now blue and gray. I think it's much more beautiful, you know, it's like, wow, I was like, yay. <laughs> so I'm really happy he did this, you know. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we're doing for reading. Mm. Let's see and do his true feelings, okay? Because I'm, I'm wondering what I can do. Like, I did so many readings already. I, I covered almost all topics that are possible. So I have to start all over again now to cover all the topics again. <laughs> so, okay, we're doing his true feelings today. It just came to my mind and it always has a meaning. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get some signifiers now and then we're going to see each other at here right here again for you to choose your pile okay see you guys so guys since i talked about art we're doing art as signifiers you see the four paths here um, i just randomly chose them you know that's what the universe gave me so you see the four art pieces you know the four paintings and we have rediscovery music freedom and courage so make your choice guys and then we're gonna see his true feelings for you, okay? Um, purple lights, and I'm saying thank you. My name is Purple, thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for um, listening to my readings every day. I hope I can help you. I hope I could soothe you a little bit, you know, with these readings and help you a little bit. <clears throat> please, all of those who don't usually comment, please, um, if you feel called to comment, it would be very nice, you know? I'm seeing that many, many of you are watching my readings, but you hardly write in the comments and I would really be happy to see if my readings really resonate with a lot of you people, you know, so I really, really would <coughs> appreciate it if you um, would write more in the comments, you know, so I know what I'm doing is okay for you guys, you know, because I put a lot, a lot of work in this, you guys know. 
um, uploading every day means working on this channel every day. It means putting aside like almost all of my free time for this channel and that's okay. You know, guys, I'm really loving what I'm doing um, and I really would appreciate if more of you would comment, you know. Okay, so we I see you at the piles. Bye. Hi, we're starting with our pile one. So we have rediscovery here. That's very interesting. So this could mean two things. For once, it could mean that your person is rediscovering their love for you because we're looking at their feelings. And twice, it could mean that um, this person is discovering you for the first time in this life, but they're rediscovering their feelings from a past life if this is about the soul bond. So we're going to see what is rediscovery all about universe. Okay. And we have dry desert. So yes, it's about rediscovering their feelings. And we also have the wishing well. I want to put this here. So what I'm seeing here, this is like a well in the desert. You know, it's, it's very, very good when you look at the pictures on how you can see that, you know, your person was in the desert, there was nothing, you know. So if this is an ex, the love was gone. Um, if the person you're thinking of, you have been together in this life with, then, you know, there was a breakup. There was dry desert. There was nothing. It's like um, plain nothing, you know. There was no contact anymore. And this person was feeling out of balance because of that. You know, they were feeling like they are in a dry desert. It, uh, yeah, it's like when you break up, you know, and we see a couple here. I, I see a couple here and I also see the desert, you know. So right now I want to talk about if you have been together with that person. So if this is an ex, then um, there were no feelings well, you can't see there were no feelings anymore because there's, if you rediscover your love, there are for sure feelings, but they were dry, you know, they were burned out. I really feel the feelings were burned out. Both of you guys managed to burn out your feelings for each other. So that's why there was a breakup. And um, during this breakup, I feel that this person, it was the first time that they realized um, that they were without you. So what I'm feeling is that they were walking like all this time you guys had no contact and you are still having no contact. I see them walking in the desert and missing out on something, looking for water, looking for feelings, looking for the stream again, you know, in the stream of water. They were looking for the well, the wishing well. They were looking for the water in the desert, you know, for the oasis basically. So it was your wish. I really feel that you were wishing that this person um, has those feelings again, you know, and really, really um, sees that there is a connection between the two of you. You were wish wishing for that. Yeah, and this is your energy. You were wishing for that, but they were in a dry desert. They couldn't see. Yeah, so now they're rediscovering their feelings. So it's very beautiful to see. For the other part, if we're talking about a connection, you've never met this person in real life and you chose this pile. Um, this tells me that your person, like all their life, they're walking through desert in their feelings and they're wondering why this is. Yeah, In connections, it's like they're, they're landing on dry desert like every time. And that's how it is in soul bonds. You know, you cannot... Um, you know, you cannot, how do you say, you cannot rise up to a soul connection. It's, it's not possible, you know. I mean, what, if we're talking of, about soulmates, soulmates, every, every person has so many soulmates. You, I believe in the concept of your friends are your soulmates, your family is your soulmate. Um, soulmates are people that you meet and you instantly click and you are fun, you know, you are happy with those people. And of course, you could have the best relationships because you just click, you just know each other. Yeah. And um, then there are those toxic twin flames, or I call them the fake twins. Um, they appear at first like a soulmate, you instantly click you. But 
other than a soulmate you have a really crazy passion you know but the connection overall is very toxic both because both of you have totally complete opposite mindsets about their wishes about what you wish so i don't see this here because if a toxic or a fake twin connection breaks apart they are there for a reason you know it's it's usually because you have to awaken to the journey so the universe brings you in this toxic twin um in order that you grow yeah and um they don't rediscover love so when you were in a toxic connection this runner chaser like constantly over time and you're exhausted because of that it's not a rediscovery of their feelings this is not what we're talking about then you should um really choose a different path guys you know um but here you know this looks like someone from your past life that you had a really deep connection with that is awakening in this life and really understanding finding the well finding the wishing well finding why all his other connections were dry deserts can i see what's going on here it's like i'm getting more cards and i'm shuffling the deck strength yeah so if you look at the strength card you know um can you see the cards if you look at the strength card, you know, there is this Leo. I really hope you can see it very good here. You see how this Leo is there? You know, it's they kept everything inside. And it's like now this beast, this Leo is awakened. And we also have a snake here. So with this snake, I really feel this is healing. This connection... And you also see the infinity sign here. So I'm really, this is a big, a major arcana, you know. So this is very important. I really feel that, you know, your person finds the Leo in themselves again, you know, the passion. The passion and um, this, the, the, the roar, basically, the roar, the wishing well, what you were wishing for all the time, the, the life, the life in this connection. And they're like coming alive. Yeah, I see this here. They're coming alive. And this is all because their feelings got awoken because you continued in this journey. You wished for this. You prayed for this. You asked the universe for this. And the universe um, reawoken your person to the journey. Very beautiful. Can I have one more for the card with the strength card? Yeah so we have let me see that's the knight of swords yeah really fast it's coming really fast guys the knight of swords is also the messenger of truth so the messenger of truth comes to your person and it opens we see the green 11 here it opens the heart chakra and since we're having this 11 here i'm i'm, I'm just thinking of twin flame you know it makes it very very prominent so let's get some more advice for you guys how this journey is evolving what is happening with the person what is his next step yeah look let's look at his next step what is the next step of person have one what is the next step okay um, we have financial constraints here. So what I'm seeing here is that they're concentrating not anymore on the finances. They're concentrating more on this love. And I really see, look at how this is mirroring here with the dry desert and the finances. I think before they were not concentrating on their feelings, on love, on, on love in general. You know, I hear this person saying, well, love is not for me. And we had this person in like many readings in the past. Or, you know, we are we are a soul channel. And many of your divine masculines are similar to each other. So um, they were very focused on their finances. And I think they're abandoning their finances. They're, they're, they're gained enough. You know, they're seeing that they're having enough. They're seeing that they don't have to concentrate on finances anymore. But... You know, it's like the universe lights the spark in them 
so that they're now ready to look for love. They're now ready for rediscovering you, basically, rediscovering their love and moving forward with it, you know? So um, I see contact, I see coming forward. Yeah, if, we're talk if this is about an ex, this person will come forward. They will abandon, like, only focus being focused on money, on making money as much as they can. They will abandon this and they will more pres preserve their feelings. They will more, more um, yeah, lead to wherever their feelings lead them to. So I see a message coming in. Yeah, really fast. I see a message coming in for you guys. Um, and for my soul bonds, I think this person is more and more focusing on the soul journey. Yeah, so that's a that are very good news. <clears throat> so yeah, they're rediscovering their love. They feel that there's something else. They feel that there is a person that they really miss on. Yeah, that they really miss you because we're talking about you. Wow, very, very beautiful pub one. Okay, that's all what I'm having. Bye. Hi guys, hi pub music. Let's see what are the feelings from pub music. <clears throat> what are the feelings pub music? What are the feelings pub music? <clears throat> Can you show me? Okay, we got the compass. Wow, okay very beautiful that fits together with the song i posted you know i will find you very beautiful what else <laughs> the elephant walking stuck in the mud yeah look at this they're they're wanting to communicate <laughs> they're wanting to move forward but they're stuck stuck in the mud so very beautiful <clears throat> they're trying to find a way you know you see this um, I see this person is I mean we have a butterfly here also and this passion and the big blue the big blue ball in the middle you know the big blue ball in the middle reminds me of Cookie's hair I don't know why it just came to my mind <clears throat> but um, I really feel that this blue is their favorite color here you know um, I feel that their soul color could be blue also, like a big dark blue. This could be their soul color, you know, that's what I'm seeing. And um, I'm seeing the compass, yeah. They're feeling for you, they're trying to find out where you are, they're trying to find you. So this person definitely is new. This person has not been in your life. <clears throat> this person wants to come in, it's like the universe wants to bring in your person um, because they're looking for their one. That's what I'm seeing. They have you know they have brought out their compass because they want to find love so this person doesn't know you yet you know so their feelings are more abstract it's more that they want to find the one you know their feelings are more abstract and <clears throat> they're trying to find a way towards this connection but they're stuck they're stuck in the mud you know i think there's Something that the universe still wants them to work on. It could be music, you know. So it could be that they have to make music or that they are a musician, that they write music, that, um, you know, music is a big part of their life or that the universe communicates with your person through music, you know. But this person has not found you yet. You have, this person doesn't know you. That's why I can only talk about their feelings towards the one and they want to find the one. They're ready. They're ready to find the one. And I'm seeing that they're looking. Where could this person be? And the music is their compass. Can I see one more card for this whole thing? The music is their compass. <clears throat> oh my gosh, yes. The Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. It's like um, they ask the universe to give them the direction. Look how this looks like this compass. Both of them cards look like the pentacle. You see this? They want to have this, this connection in real life. You know, they really want to bring this connection to earth. It's like they really want to have it. It's like this connection um, is basically the connection for them. So 
I think you are in a strong soul connection with that person here because the love here has not been lived. With the elephant, you know, it could be that elephant is their spirit animal. But what I rather feel is this person is doing everything according to the law. You know, like the elephant is like walking very slowly and right now they're stuck, but they're walking towards the future. You see, you know, they're walking towards this ace, they're walking towards the connection, but it's going very slow. Yeah, and they're stuck in the mud. The mud is not nothing nice. So right now they're trying to find their way out of the mud. So let's let's try to find out what that mud is, where they're stuck. Okay, we have the, look at this, I mean, this is the ace, this is, this is the ace of cups, this is the love, this is the spark. It's like this, they're stuck because this love is emerging and the mud is a self-love, you know, this is loving themselves. So they're not loving themselves right now and I just looked at the clock and it was 444. So you might see these numbers, 444. Yeah, they're stuck because they have to love themselves. And the communication bird is still sitting on their back. So that means you guys are not in communication yet because this person has to love themselves. There are still issues where they're not loving themselves. And we know if they're not loving themselves, they cannot offer this love towards you because the connection would break apart. It would not be possible. So and we also see this radiating blue ball, I told you. So with this butterfly flying and loving themselves and, and being free in themselves, that's what they have to learn. Yeah? So their feelings towards you are, they don't know who you are, but they know that there is, um, watch my posts where I posted this, the talking, I will find you. That's exactly their feelings. They feel it in their heart. They feel it in their bones that there is someone out there like a soul bond that they have and they want to find it but they're not loving themselves right now so that's why the universe lets them be stuck in the mud okay yeah so your one this is your one is on the way but they have to learn to love themselves and maybe if you guys mirror yeah the change is also on your end you also need to learn how to love yourself you know so let's see what is their next step. What is this person's next step? Yeah, <laughs> a storm warning came out. So stuck in the mud and the storm warning. Something is going on in their life. You know, there will be like a tower moment in their coming into their life where all their feelings are whirlwinded through everything, you know? So that's why they're stuck in the mud, because the mud is also after a storm. Yeah. So what I'm seeing, also I see Greece here. I don't know why I see Greece. Maybe your person is from Greece. And we have the 10. This is a new beginning. And the change, the compass, the universe brings change. So what I'm feeling is with this change, they're moving closer towards you. They're moving closer about learning to love themselves. But at first, there will be something erupting their life, you know, this could be anything, you know, this could, this could be a loss of a job, this could be a loss of a relationship, this could be some kind of um, wake up call I'm seeing here, wake up call, listen, you need to learn your, to, to learn to love yourself, okay? But their feelings are really pure towards you, I mean, they want to have this connection in real life, they want to establish a love. They want to have a relationship, in a real earthly relationship. They're not satisfied with only feeling the soul bond. Yeah? Okay, guys. So that's all what I'm having for my pile two. Bye, guys. My pile three. Welcome to your reading. So you chose freedom. So let's see. What are your person's feeling towards you? What are their person towards them? Pile three. Freedom. Okay, we got two, two cards. We have Heal the Ouch. And we have Dragon's Lair. These two cards came out. I don't know. I have to look when I 
upload the video if those cards come out. So we have Heal the Ouch and Dragon Slayer. Um, we see the Dragon Slayer here. I don't know if you can see it, but look at this. It's a very cold atmosphere, you know, it's very, um, it's like your person retreated, you know, they, re they retreat because they're healing. So what I'm seeing here is that um, they are free right now. You know, they're meditating, they're healing, healing the ouch. Um, they like they have left a relationship. So this could be your relationship or, you know, if you have never met this person and this is a soul connection, then they have left or they were left by someone else. Okay, so we're talking here about their feelings towards you and what I'm seeing here is they're healing yeah they're healing they're retreating um, they're probably not in contact with you so please take it as it resonates because um, I really feel that right now they're not like they're not available you know let's say let's put it like this if you are in the soul connection you know the universe is preparing them um, could be for you I don't, I don't know because um, you know if you are in the soul connection sometimes the whole thing takes a long time um, till this person comes your way and we want to look into their energy what are their feelings you know and what I'm seeing here is with this dragon slayer they're trying to be very strong they're trying to hold back their healing uh, the feelings <laughs> you know healing the out yeah I really feel that they're healing a soul connection and we have the devil so with this devil I feel a lot of temptation towards your connection yeah I feel that it's like a, a pull towards your connection and it's um, you know they're trying to resist this also with this healing the ouch you know sometimes these healing cards in tarot and in other divination tools mean sex you know like it is as it is guys you know sometimes um healing the ouch healing means having sex you know so um maybe because it's healing you know <laughs> but and that's when we have the devil here you know the devil is um also this card for passion so what i'm seeing here is they're trying to be free from this um, from this passion that they're, they're feeling some kind of pull towards you and that's why they're putting themselves into this dragon layer you know where everything is in, on ice it's like you know they have to <laughs> They have to cool themselves down because they're so full of passion. That's what I'm seeing also, you know. So what I'm seeing is here they had recently a breakup with someone. Um, I don't know if they were left or they left, but they're healing, you know, they're in hermit mode and they feel some kind of push and they cannot make sense of it. You know, if you have a soul connection, they feel this push. They feel this strong sexual urge, strong sexual energy, but it's not towards their ex. It's towards... Um, your connection so it's like the universe pulls them and they try to resist you know they try to resist because they want to heal themselves first yeah that's what i'm seeing can can i see the devil card yeah the also they freed themselves you know with the ace of pentacles i really feel that um they freed themselves from a toxic connection whatever this was that's why i heal the ouch is also there you know it could be or could have been a very sexual connection that they're healing themselves from. I don't think, or I'm not feeling that it is your connection. I'm not feeling that this is your ex. I'm feeling that this person is next coming into your life, you know? This is what I'm feeling. And they're healing from some kind of heartbreak that they had. And they're feeling this pull yeah, towards your energy. So let's look what is their next step. What is the next step of path three? yeah <laughs> we have the second chakra archangel ariel 
this is the sacred chakra, the sexual chakra. And you look, you see how the colors? Um, the sacred chakra is orange and the next chakra is the yellow chakra. You know, this is the um, solar plexus. So I see here a mixture of solar plexus and um, sacred chakra. So they feel this, you know, the sacred chakra is also all about sexual expression and passion. So they feel some kind of passion. I feel that they're sacred chakra is opening also with this devil card here they get really passionate about this connection so be aware <laughs> when this person's coming into your life they try to free themselves you know they try to meditate and heal themselves and they try to open this chakra i feel that this chakra could be blocked you know and this connection with you it's opening their chakras yeah especially the sacred chakra so yeah their next step is opening up this chakra and you might feel like if you are in a soul bond you feel you might feel their sexual energy then too okay so that's when you know you know their sacred chakra is open because you can i mean the devil you see it here it's like two people chained onto each other yeah this is the string the red string that you guys are on and with the ace of pentacles it's like they're resisting um the new start you know they're trying to heal they try they try to um, ex seclude themselves from other people you know try to how do you say try to be in hermit mode try to heal first before anything else is happening okay so that's all what i'm having bye guys hi pile four let's see what are the feelings of your person towards you let's look into this guy's I have four universe. What are their feelings? Okay, we have magical sh map shifter. That's a magician. Wow, it looks very good. It looks as if they want to manifest this connection. They want to start with you something. And yeah, and that's why courage is here. Yep, look at this. We have the spark. Their passion is aroused, you know, or maybe it's your passion. But the spark is lit and I feel it's their passion. Oh my gosh, we have 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. This is a twin flame. Oh my gosh, when this comes out, I'm 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 totally into the whole thing. <laughs> because I know when 7-7 seven, seven comes out, that's like Big T telling me, listen, baby, that's about twin flames. Yes, I see. Um, one of you is trying to manifest while the other is lighting sparks in other people. So we could have a famous musician here and you probably manifesting this person or vice versa. In a twin flame, everything is a mirroring. You guys know that. So they need the courage to come forward. That's what I'm seeing. You know, those are their feelings. Yeah, they, they got the spark. This person here is awakened. They got the spark um, and they're trying to shift something they try to get the courage to bring this connection into life i'm feeling yeah this is a power manifester you know this person that we're talking here about your person power manifester um they're trying to get the courage to come forward to shift you you see how this magician here has all these tools and here it's like chaos so it's it's like they're trying to shift from the chaos you know they're trying to make it happen with you that's what i'm seeing can i have one more card here great strength why wow nine of wands wow they're not giving up this journey is very hard for them too yeah don't think it's only hard for you guys um for the divine masculine it's hard too because they don't see you see you see they don't see you if they know like i'm always saying if my divine masculine would know who i am he would stand in front of my door because that's why he doesn't know who i am because right now he has a job to do he has to heal people he cannot just stand in front of my door yeah so that's like how it is in um, a twin flame couples. The spark is so lit. 
the um, you feel the other person in your energy even if you don't know who they are and you guys know that some of you have divine masculines you don't even know who your divine masculine is and you still feel the energy you still feel the pull and you can imagine it's the same for your twin that's mirroring guys you know they they feel the same and they want to make it happen they want to they're not giving up you know there this also this card means this one like you as a person they chose out of all the ones in the back they chose the one and they're not giving up and the one gives them great strength to get through all the chaos here to find courage you know this passion this one passion gives them courage very beautiful so let's see why is great strength here wanna i wanna see get one more yeah three of wands they're looking out yeah they're looking out for love they're looking out for you they're trying to see who you are they're trying to see through all the chaos they're trying to get courage to get on that ship into the world and try to find their twin that's what i'm seeing here very very beautiful yeah i really love this pile you know when i get in messages like this i really love it because i know for you guys for, for many of you it's the same so what is their next step let me see universe wow look at this <laughs> isn't this the same person isn't it the same person so we have a number six and this is number seven so i'm seeing they're fulfilling their contract they cannot leave right now that's why they're waiting you know the three of wands is also the card of waiting for your ship to come in like um meaning i cannot leave right now i have to wait so they're like waiting also for you to come their way because they have a contract to fulfill they cannot just walk walk and talk <laughs> you know look at this they're blindfolded they're not knowing where to go or with whom they have the contract probably that's a soul contract you know they want to do the magic and manifest the soul contract we have the twin flame balance scales here but I, what i'm seeing here mainly is you know this is happening before they're shifting so this is telling me their next step is to fulfill their contract whatever contract this is we have a third party here also you know they have a contract they could still be married they could have a work contract because that's what the three also tells me and so they're fulfilling their contract they're not coming forward but they're gathering the courage okay very beautiful very very beautiful very beautiful i'm loving it i'm also seeing that they're gathering the courage to do some music related to this connection very very beautiful okay guys so that's all what i'm having yeah <laughs> i hope you like this i hope you like my decoration and i'm saying bye guys